So, sometime last year, the folks at Madison, at the end of ZBrush Summit, did tease out that ZBrush was coming to iPad. This was an interesting thing to see, as within that time, we did notice that there was a couple of tools that were also coming over to iPad, which were definitely going to empower how users get to sculpt on iPad. Already, tools like Nomad and Forger was currently available for anyone to work with, and some other tools were also there. But the fact that ZBrush was going to come over to iPad did make it very exciting, as ZBrush was definitely going to come with lots of tools. And with the recent announcement of Apple new iPad series alongside a new pen there is a new update with a sneak peek that we now have as during the Apple event there was a preview of tools coming over to the iPad and ZBrush for iPad was one of them it is quite an exciting thing to see that ZBrush has finally made that portal and hopefully this is going to be available for everyone to work with and I would be so excited to share with you guys and first up if you take a look at the UI there's a couple of interesting things that we did notice at first but then it became even clearer when we did see the brian tongue video alongside a couple of other videos as well so the very first thing which you would notice with this ui is pretty simple very zbrush like as we do have the brushes where the brushes are very reminiscent of what we have with the desktop version and you would also notice that we've got four controls that deals with a couple of shortcut keys that includes the spacebar the caps lock an option key which in this case would be the alt key and also a shift key and with these shortcut keys i believe you can be able to do a couple of interesting stuff meanwhile there is also a menu section which deals with where you get to find stuff and you would also notice that we've got a couple of menus on this side and these menus deals with the sub tool, the geometry, tick skin, which is pretty much a new feature that is now available in ZBrush. The surfaces are there for those who like to use noise to drive surfaces on their model, just like we have with the desktop version of ZBrush. The deformations are also there. There's a masking, visibility, poly groups, poly paint, display properties. And I believe the display properties would be very similar to the display properties that we have with a typical ZBrush. Initializer is also there for new geometries. So in case you like to make some adjustments to the geometries when you're working with them that is also available and we've got the import and export on the other side you would also notice that we've got the split for sub tools and we've got the merge and extract every other thing that we have around the ui deals with how you manipulate the brushes the brush strokes the brush intensity and also the alphas and of course the math gap we did also notice that the explode shortcut is also there the solo shortcut is there the masking shortcut is also there and of course the typical and localized symmetries are also there so interesting thing seems to be coming over to zbrush for ipad and hopefully this will be something that we would get our hands on and with the new apple pencil there is also a tease for a gesture menu and i think the gesture menu would simply launch a quick menu just like we have in this video meanwhile the folks at magazine has also teased a link for beta testers so just in case you like to sign up for the beta testing then you can simply go over to the link in the description and check this out i'd love to see how this compares with a couple of tools that are still in beta and also a few other tools that are now available these alongside the octane engine that was also teased by the folks at Apple might definitely help ZBrush artists and also sculpting artists take advantage of this new powerhouse PC that they have. This is quite exciting. Like imagine all of the features that ZBrush has. Look at the flexibility of how you can sculpt. Now picture all of that in a small form factor and with the way this is going, this is going to be coming very soon. The folks at Magazine have also said that you can share things across their apps, which means you can work in ZBrush Mobile and transfer this to ZBrush, which is the desktop version, and probably vice versa. So this is definitely going to change a lot of ways people get to work. Currently, the pricing is unknown. No one has an idea when this will be coming out. They did mention that it will be coming out sometime in 2024. And with this sneak peek, it simply looks like things will be getting quite exciting very quickly. We have no idea what would happen to Forger, if it will remain a sideline tool or if it will be deprecated. So this is it, ZBrush for iPad seems to be more of a reality than we ever thought and hopefully in the coming weeks or probably months we will be having our hands on it and testing it for you guys to see. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.